Okay, hello everyone in a new video. In this one we are going to solve an exercise related to electricity in the chapters of DC voltage resistors, electric power and energy. This exercise was a previous one in the previous exams in 2018 second session, exercise number 4. The title of this exercise is normal functioning of the lamp. A lamp L carrying the inscription 6 watt 12 volt is assumed as a resistor ohmic conductor of resistance R. Then here we have the lamp L carrying the following indications 6 watts and 12 volts and as is assumed as a resistor of resistance R so it has a resistance R number one notice that till this moment they didn't mention anything about document 4 then we are not allowed to use this document in order to answer the following questions now, in number one, they are telling me show that the current carried by the lamp L while functioning normally is I0 is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. Uh -huh. They told me that in this case, in this part, the lamp L is functioning normally. Then we can use the following indications, and they are given by 6 watts and 12 volts. Then what does each of them represent? 6 watts, watts we know that uh, is the unit of electric power, then it is the rated power under which it functions normally. And V is the unit of uh, volts, is the unit of voltages, therefore 12 volt is the rated voltage uh, of the lamp L under which it functions normally. Then we know that we know the rated power and we know the applied voltage. Then in this case, or the consumed power and the applied voltage, in this case, uh, we can determine the value of the electric current from the following relation that P is equal to U times I knowing that we are interested in calculating the value of I constructing the triangle of this formula here because we have multiplied and P will be at the top and U and I at the bottom we are interested in calculating the value of I under normal functioning and it is denoted by I0 which is equal to P divided by U now the value of P is given by 6 the value of U is 12 Plugging this on the calculator, it will give me 0 0.5. Since P is in the SI and the value of U is in the SI, so the value of I0 will be in the SI, which is amperes. Then I0 is equal to 0 0.5 amperes. Now, what does I0 represent? I0 represents the rated current of the normal functioning of the lamp L. So let me add I0 here to the following indication. So 0 0.5 amperes. Now in number two, they are telling me calculate R. And we know that in order to calculate R, we need to apply Ohm's law to the lamp L because R represent the resistance of the lamp L. Apply Ohm's law to L. Notice that in this part, they didn't uh, mention that the lamp L is functioning normally. And this is because we are calculating the resistance R. So whenever we are calculating the resistance R, we can assume that the lamp... So we can use the indications of the lamp, although if the lamp L is not functioning normally, because we are calculating the resistance. And Ohm's law is given by U is equal to R multiplied by I. Constructing the triangle of this formula, which is given by U at the top and R I at the bottom because here we have multiply we are interested in calculating the value of r putting our hand over r so r is equal to divided by r by i and the resistance is denoted by small r so it's equal to u divided by i which is the applied voltage and the traverse current here the traverse current is denoted by i0 the applied voltage is given by 12 and the traverse current is 0 0.5 plugging this on the calculator will give me 24 since u is in the SI and the value of i in the SI, so the value of r will be in the SI, which is ohms. So now, we have determined the resistance of this lamp, knowing that yet we didn't connect the lamp to any electric circuit. Now, in number 3, they are telling me the lamp L is placed in an electric circuit, as shown in document 4. Uh -huh. They mentioned document 4, then now we can use it. The resistors R1 and R2 have resistances. R1 is equal to 10 ohms. And R2 is equal to 20 ohms, respectively. The ammeter A of negligible resistance displays 0 0.1 amperes. 
Now, the reading of the ammeter in this case is given by 0 0.1 amperes. Here in this electric circuit, we have three currents, and they are, they are given by I, I1, and I2. Uh, because the ammeter and the resistor R1 are in series, so the ammeter is measuring the value of I1, which is given by 0 0.1 amperes. So here the value of I1 is equal to 0 0.1 amperes. And the trick in solving such type of exercises is to write uh, the traverse current and the applied voltage on the electric circuit itself. Okay. Now in 3.1, they are telling me calculate the value of the voltage U1 across R1. And this can be done using Ohm's law because now we know that, that the first current across R1 is given by 0 0.1 amperes. And we know that its resistance is given by 10 ohms. Therefore, apply Ohm's law to R1. And this law is given by U is equal to Ri. No need to construct triangle of this formula because u is the quantity that we want to calculate, which is given by u1 uh, across the resistor R1 traversed by the electric current I1. The value of R1 is 10, and the value of I1 is 0 0.1 amperes, which is indicated by the ammeter. Plugging this on the calculator will give us 1. Since R is in the SI, and the value of I is in the SI, so the value of u will be in the SI, which is volts. Then u1 is equal to 1 volts. So the voltage across R1 is given by 1 volts. Now in 3.2, they are telling me show that the current I2 carried by R2 is 0 0.05 amperes. So we need to show that the traverse current across the resistor R2 is given by 0 0.05 amperes. Now here, one can say that we can determine the value of I to using the law of addition of currents, but yet we don't know the value of I traversing the lamp L, because the lamp L is not functioning normally. Then we cannot use uh, the law of addition of currents because we don't know I2 and we don't know the value of I. Therefore, the only way that we can determine the value of I2 is applying Ohm's law to R2. But however, we don't know the voltage across R2 in this case, but we can determine it because the resistor R1 and R2 are in parallel because the ammeter is considered as a connecting wire because it is of negligible resistance. Here they are telling me that the ammeter is of negligible resistance. Then in this case, R1 and R2 are said to be in parallel. Then let's say R1 and R2 are in parallel. Then according to law of uniqueness of voltages, sorry, they have the same voltage. So in this case, U1 is equal to U2 is equal to 1 volts. Then now we know the applied voltage across R2, and we know its resistance, which is given by 20 ohms. Therefore, by applying ohms law to R2, we can determine the value of I2. Now apply... Ohm's law to R2, and this law is given by U is equal to Ri. Constructing the triangle of this formula, U at the top, R and I at the bottom, we are interested in calculating the value of I, which is denoted by I2, across the resistor R2, having an applied voltage U2. The value of U is given by 1, and the value of R2 is 20. Plugging this on the calculator will give us 0 0.05. Since U is in the SI and the value of R is in the SI, then the value of I2 will be in the SI, which is amperes. Then I2 is equal to 0 0.05 amperes. Now, 
Now in 3.3, they are telling me did use the current I through the lamp L. And the word deduce means that we need to use the part just previously before. In 3.2, we have determined the value of the current I2. And we already know the value of I1. Therefore, using the law of addition of currents, we can determine the value of I. Then let's say apply law of addition of currents. Then how do you apply this law? Always on the left we write the main current which is given by I. And on the other side we write the sum of different electric currents. And they are given by I1 plus I2. Knowing that the current I at this point splits into two currents I1 and I2. We are interested in calculating the value of I which is given by I1 which is 0.1 plus the value of I2 which is 0.05. And this gives us 0.15. Since 0.1 and 0.05 are in the SI, then the value of I will be the SI, which is amperes. Then in this case, the traverse current across the lamp L is given by 0.15 amperes. Now finally, in part 3.4, they are telling me, does L function normally in this circuit? Why? Always the functioning of the lamp depends or uh, can be determined by comparing either the traverse current uh, and the applied voltage or the applied voltage to the inscriptions. Here we have the traverse current which is given by 0.15 amperes and already from part 1 we have determined uh, the rated current. In this case the traverse current is given by 0.15 amperes. Whereas the rated current is given by 0.5 amperes, and as you can see that the rated current is less than the uh, the traverse current is less than the rated current. Then let's say since the traverse current is less than the rated current of the lamp L. This is because 0.15 amperes is less than 0.5 amperes. Then in this case, then the lamp L will not function or function weakly. And by this we have finished solving this exercise. Hope it was beneficial for you guys out there watching it and see you soon in another one.